My first meeting uh, with uh, France uh, took place uh, during the war, actually, in the last big war. Uh, and I ended up in 1944 in a forced labor camp uh, near Hamburg, Germany. And uh, I, they put me together with French war prisoners. So I was, uh, I, for like uh, 10 months, I was living actually together with, uh, with uh, French war prisoners. And very often, <laughs> really, uh, I was very inexperienced. I was a farm boy. And of course, uh, French are uh, come from, uh, from um, very old, um, complicated, subtle culture. <laughs> and I was a naive boy there. So whenever there was a problem with food, uh, somebody had to complain to the German, uh, the German said, well, the, you see, there is some, uh, uh, our soup is full of worms. You know, that's what they used to serve us sometimes. So they, they, <laughs> they, uh, they, they so for some reason, they always delegated me to go and complain to the prison, the French war prisoners, <laughs> to complain that there's something is wrong with the So, you know, during the war and post-war, uh, what saved my sanity was discovering little, I mean, the only book that floated, for instance, around us in, uh, in, this, in the forced labor camp, what came from uh, it was uh, Andre Gide's uh, uh, Nourriture Terrestre. It was really? there, how it arrived there, what, but there was one book that everybody <laughs> read a little wow. bit, you know, tried to read. <laughs> there was the book, you know, and later after the war, you know, then everything else, uh, I ended up in Wiesbaden. And I was studying in Mainz or Mayans, you know, mm -hmm. was at the, the University of Mayans, which was very much French. Right. There's so much uh, French writers, even on the hip, uh, when it came to, to lecture to, 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 to Mainz. And I, you know, I shook his hand. And, and the, the, the first film festival, all of film, the first Cocteau I saw in Mainz. There was a little film festival and uh, uh, Beauty and the Beast uh, wow. uh, was shown, yeah. the post-war uh, uh, French uh, sort of, uh, uh, films uh, that was in 47. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and so a lot of uh, my, uh, uh, and there w was uh, also a little bookshop that uh, one shelf was full of French uh, literary and French Film magazines that I used to, you know, always, uh, uh, you know, scrounge to uh, looking for what's new there. Uh, so that's what kept me and some of us alive. Uh, that, you know, uh, uh, so I'm very grateful to France, <laughs> to French poets. Then, in uh, the beginning, somewhere '62. Uh, 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 we ended up at Cannes Film Festival. My brother uh, um, uh, made a film, Hallelujah, mm -hmm. Hallelujah, The Hills, and it was shown at Cannes. And beginning in 1962, there, uh, like, uh, uh, somehow Paris and France began attracting <laughs> me uh, 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 more and more and uh, uh, friendships developed and so that I have maybe more friends in Paris than New York. <laughs> uh, and uh, I, I'm very grateful really to Paris and France for, uh, I think that I'm more understood and, uh, by, by French than by by, <laughs> by Americans or anybody else. I think that uh, France is repaying me for maybe uh, 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 helping the French war prisoners to have soup with no water. <laughs>